Okay, everyone, welcome back. So I got to go down to South Florida for some work training. And I was lucky enough to go buy a bit of an art candy store called Blick, which I usually do a lot of online shopping at Blick. But in this case, I was able to stop by. And the reason I was so excited is I have, um, I'd gotten myself a set of Holbein gouache, uh, as you can see off to the right there in the picture. And I had um, a really cool little set, and I pretty much stuck with those in this particular case. But I did get a couple of key colors that I've really, really been wanting, mostly for foliage. Um, I have a really hard time with foliage. I really do, and I'm pushing myself to try to get through it. Um, I went and got nothing but light fast gouache, so I'm going to try to make it a little bit more of a fine art item. So what you'll see is on the left there, um, I have a set of watercolors that I'm using to get some of the underpainting done, uh, block in some colors. And truth be told, I did not have a light fast pink gouache. So I was using, uh, mixing my light fast pinks that I own in watercolor and mixing them with the gouache that I have in white to help uh, basically make it light fast, I guess. I don't know if that'll work as well as I hope it would, but since the pink is the color that you usually lose, and if you don't know what light fast, it just means if I were to take uh, the painting and put it in light uh, or sun, the pinks can actually fade away uh, to nothing if they're poorly light fast. So you would literally see the white of the paper again. It would bleach it, so to speak. And if you get something that's uh, light fast, then you will have something that stains the color and it won't bleed away. Obviously you want to keep art out of sunlight anyway, but in this particular case, I was on a quest for a light fast pink uh, or fuchsia, and that way I could make other colors with it. Um, it's harder to find reds and pinks and yellows that are light fast, and typically you pay for them. So when I did finally find some, the one, of course, that was the most light fast, uh, was sold out, eh, figured. But at least being able to look at each label, look at their ratings, and sit there and do it in my hand, because you can't really turn the, the packaging around when you're sitting there doing it. Um, so I know I've just spent half this video talking about the light fastness <laughs> of the color pink, but that to me is really important, that when I'm creating art that I will frame and eventually sell, uh, sell that I am using something that someone will be able to enjoy for many, many years and um, not have their art start to fade. So gouache is something kind of new to me. I had been participating in a lot of plein air events with a group that I meet with, and the plein air group decided to have a little contest for this pastel artist, which pastels are the pigmented chalk uh, with the artist pigment quality contents and they said hey it's a three color challenge and that doesn't really work for artist shock uh, pastels would then let me pick you know I could pick three colors but in the same value or I could pick one color in three values but the whole point of it was was to be able to pick like a red yellow blue type situation and then mix everything with it and that doesn't really again work for pastel so I went ahead and bought gouache um, and I decided to give it a try. I had been gifted a smaller set and enjoyed it, and so I got a slightly bigger set. Picked out my three colors and uh, painted a cool little painting of a boathouse uh, live at the park we were at. And I've never looked back. I really, really enjoyed it. So this is me still learning how to use it and playing with it, trying my best to um, learn the, the rules of gouache. Gouache tends to like to be one color. It doesn't bleed light to dark as easy or blend as light as easy. As you can see here, I'm taking all these light spots and going over dark uh, in the background there. And that's one of the qualities of gouache that I like that I don't like about watercolor. But watercolor will do these beautiful blooms, uh, those things in the background of the flower that you see that are the, the purples into the greens and the blues into the greens where they bleed and, and all the little fireworks, they call those blooms of color. Gouache doesn't do that as much. You can see that in the leaves 
when I have two colors that are wet going to each other, they, they blur into each other, but they don't do the cool, like just outward blending. So you get different, different benefits with each one. But again, I love that I can go light over dark with the gouache and having the light over dark does make, uh, make my little, uh, life easier. So I don't have to worry so much about, oops, I didn't, I didn't, uh, didn't make that the right value or I didn't reserve my whites but here I am painting a magnolia there are a ton of magnolias here in Florida and there is a tree a couple houses down from me and several times a year well several times I should say this time of year spring spring to early summer uh, it blooms a couple times and I will stand there with my camera um, stand on my tippy toes waiting for the sun to go down and try to catch as many good videos as I can, or sorry, photos as I can uh, of them in blooms. And I'll go down there several days in a row and try to catch everything um, in different states of bloom so that I can practice. Um, so I've put in a lot of the mid values and now I'm starting to really commit and get strong. You'll see where I'm using that white to try to push some of the lights back. Um, because the contrast looks a lot better when you have uh, a dark dark against a light light. That's how you get things to really look a lot more bold uh, and on purpose. And I am here still practicing my leaves, which I just need a lot more practice on my leaves. Uh, as you can see, I am going over them and over them over again and trying to not butcher them. Um, but this painting was really fun and I am blessed to have magnolias in my life. If you've not seen a live magnolia, it is a thing of beauty. But thank you so much again. I always appreciate you watching. Um, and if there's anything you'd like me to try to paint, I like to paint all things and always. And uh, I hope you did enjoy this with me. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.